and this is the last video of this week in this example I'm gonna show you how to create an empty list and then ask the user at each iteration of a loop to enter a new value in this case we are using a for loop and we're using range 4 that's gonna give us four it's gonna ask four times to enter a new value and if we want to continue adding until the user says I don't want to add anymore we would be using a while loop while the answer is not n or whatever the value we're choosing to use then keep asking the user okay so in this case it's predetermined it's four values and we need to start initializing the list using square brackets and nothing inside that creates a list with, with empty values inside our loop for i our counter in range 4 so i is going to get the value 0 1 2 3 remember never including the last one colon then we indent for the statements that are inside the loop and in this case we're going to be using our list and the method append to add a new value into the list and that new value instead of being a fixed one or come from another variable it's coming from an input command that the user is going to be entering so we're saying enter a new value the user will type in a new value that gets appended oops, sorry appended into my list and we move on to the next line ne the next iteration and we append the next one next one next one we come out of the for loop here see the indentation being on the left and in this case we just printed the list we could add the values calculate the average calculate anything with those values and we're printing goodbye just to see that we're outside of our loop and it's only printed once okay let's run it and see what happens enter new value five new value six new value three new value two and we can see here that my list now has the values five six three two because i've entered them they're entered as strings we could say i want them as integers we enter a new values and you can see the difference now they are numbers previously they were numbers stored as strings and our goodbye, our list and goodbye only printed once because they are outside the for loop. So with this video we finish um, the session on for loops and you have a list of exercises to do. Bye.